No, it's not that we didn't like Cyber Dragon Herds, it's just that it's not as good as it could have been, okay? Like, would it have killed you to make it be able to search any Cyber Dragon from deck? Like, would it have killed you? And um, what's the status of the Power Bomb Searcher anyways? Okay, I know where you're going with this, okay? I know where you're going with this, but think about it, think about it, okay? Even in the show, only Zane Truesdale played Power Bond, right? And it was in Cyber Dragons, I'm pretty sure, okay? I'm pretty sure it was only Zane Truesdale and only in Cyber Dragons, right? Likewise, in real life, what other deck has ever played Power Bond ever? Besides Cyber Dragons, ever! So it's a Cyber Dragon card, it's a Cyber Dragon card. No, it is a Cyber Dragon card! Look, okay, I don't care if you have to put Cyber in the name of it and errata the card, okay? It is a Cyber Dragon card. It just is. It just is, okay? It's like you guys don't even know your own game. Okay, look, look. If you're not gonna give us the Power Bomb Searcher right now, then give us, um, I, I don't know, give us a Galaxy Soldier then, okay? Give us, give us a Galaxy Soldier. No? Well, then give us, um, pff, give us something that's, th give us a Cyber Dragon Monster that special summons itself from hand. How about that? Well then give us the Power Bond Searcher! And more Six Samurais! And I guess Ninjas too! So guys, sadly, still no word about a Power Bond Searcher from Cybernetic Horizon, but at least we know what the other monster from the poster was that we were wondering about. And that monster is Cyber Dragon Veer, and he is going to be the subject of this entire video, guys. I'm actually going to be talking about the card briefly, and then I'm going to slap three copies in my deck just like last time with Hertz, and play some hands out and see how the card plays in the deck. But before we get to all that, I have to give a huge shout out to all my patrons, and of course to Metamats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you guys want 10% off of any map from metamats.com then enter in the code eugene versus jesus and you will get 10 percent off of any map that you want so with the shout outs out of the way cyber dragon veer is a level four light machine effect monster 1100 attack 1600 defense you can only use this card's uh, name's second effect once per turn which is the really good effect which sucks but uh, effect number one this card's name is treated as cyber dragon while it is on the field or in the graveyard so that is really really good they're keeping up with that which is fantastic it's what the deck needs it's really great so um effect number two if you normal or special summon cyber dragon it's got to be cyber dragon name in quotations you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position so that's really good helps make link monsters and stuff like cleaport genius very very excited for that very very good and then effect number three all cyber dragons you control gain 500 attack and defense so in other words if they're at 2100 attack they will be at 2600 attack which is more attack which is always better more attack is always better right so this card isn't like the archetype specific galaxy soldier that a lot of us were hoping for or you know the power of on searcher the most of us were hoping for, but it's still a really good card, and I'm really glad that we finally have Cyber Dragon Veer. It's something, Cyber Dragon Veer, we all knew that Veer was going to be the next one. It's German for four, you know what I mean? So we all knew that that was like the next in line. We were just kind of waiting to see when they were going to come out with it. But now that you guys know what the card does, let's go ahead and throw three copies of it in my Cyber Dragon deck, play some hands out, and then open up some fan mail. Alright, you guys, so I have our effects printed off and all that good stuff, so I don't forget <laughs> what our proxied uh, monsters' effects are. Uh, but uh, before we get started here, you know, playing out test hands and stuff. I want to do a quick deck profile. Um, you know, this isn't, you know, a, an official completed deck because, you know, Cybernetic Horizon is a long ways away. It's the set after Flames of Destruction, so we have a long time to go. So this isn't finalized. This is just a deck profile that I threw together just uh, for the purposes of demonstrating what these cards do, you know, just for this video and stuff. So that being said, I'm not, this isn't a deck profile. This isn't a full deck profile. So I'm just going to go over this really quick so that if you guys want to play this yourselves and follow along, you, you can and you know exactly what cards I'm playing. So, uh, three Cyber Dragon, uh, duh then three Cyber Dragon Core, and then three Dry, uh, because the new card, <laughs> because we have three Veer now, which is really, really great, so three Veer, and then uh, three Hertz, and then three Galaxy Soldier, you basically max out on a bunch of stuff, like all your best cards, essentially, like all your best Cyber Dragon cards, and that's just what I did anyway, so you can play, you can bump this down to two, or or play whatever uh, ratios you guys want to, this is just once again what I threw together for this video, so uh, one Golden Jet, um, three uh, Warrior Guitar, um, th uh, two mics and then two Jizakiru. Um, I cut the Kaiju engine out for this. Uh, just uh, if I draw Jizakiru, you know, go playing a uh, going first hands, I'll just probably shuffle and like redo or something like that. Um, you know, because Cyber Dragons want to go second, but you can't really demonstrate going second properly when it's just me here. <laughs> you know, I don't have anybody to play against. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and just do uh, two Jizakiru. Three Machine Duplication because it's like the best card in the deck. Uh, two Cyber Repair Plant because it's once per turn, and uh, two is like just the best number to play. If you play Cyber 
Cyber Dragons for a long time, you'll kind of realize that. Even though it is nice to see one in your opening hand sometimes, uh, two is still just the best number in my opinion. Uh, two instant fusion, sometimes I go back uh, go back and forth between two and three. Um, two uh, desires, one soul charge, one reasoning, overload fusion, monster reborn, and foolish burial. So that's uh, the whole, uh, you know, once again, I just slap this together. So that's the main deck. Then the extra deck is uh, two Nova, um, two Infinity, one Durindle, one Pleiades, uh, one Ceramea, because it's good against uh, Trick Stars. If you guys read its effect, you'll know what I'm talking about. It burns your opponent instead of you taking the damage. It's really good. Um, one Panzer Dragon, uh, one of each good Chimera Tech, <laughs> like the best ones. Um, one Genius, um, the Seeger, Decode, and then Proxy Dragon. And once again, this is kind of what I threw together. These two cards were like the last two cards I threw in here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, this one was, I mean, no, sorry. This one was already in, I think, or maybe the Decode wasn't. I don't remember. But yeah, this is what I got uh, thrown together. So now with all that explained, if you guys want to follow along, you guys know what cards I'm playing uh, card for card now. So with all that out of the way, let's shuffle up really well because I just had everything stacked up. Keep shuffling for a bit. I might pile shuffle if I like draw really, really bad like over and over or something like that. But let's see what we get. Maybe pile shuffling won't be necessary. Uh, so I guess that's not really necessary. We didn't draw any of the new cards, but I can go ahead and play this out really quick uh, anyways for you guys because we drew these two, which is always really good. <laughs> so uh, playing this out going first. Um, I guess, yeah, you'd just do this. You'd pitch a Cyber Dragon, and then uh, that'll summon out mics. Do, do, do. Where's the mics at? So, okay, so there's mics. That'll give us another normal summon, which is pretty cool. Um, you can go ahead and uh, go Instant Fusion for that Panzer Dragon. So Panzer Dragon, and then use uh, these two, stack this in the extra deck, go into Cleefort Genius. So there's your Link Monster. We could actually technically Monster Reborn go into decode and then soul charge all that back if we wanted to. I think that might be the best move given our current extra deck situation right here. That might be the best move. You know what, let's go ahead and do that, why not? Uh, Monster Reborn, um, Cyber Dragon, use all these to go into decode and then I guess soul charge all these back. <laughs> like, I think that would be our best move. I mean, there's a couple ways I could do that. I mean, technically, but I mean, yeah, there's a few ways you could do that. You could also just not do that, like how I went, how I used that Monster Reborn. So let's get back where we were. Um, you could do do this several ways but um let's put this back in our graveyard put the put this uh yeah let's put all this back in our graveyard this is back and this is our current hand right yeah yeah this is where we're at we could also uh, technically go soul charge and go um these two here and here and uh, trigger a genius and then genius will get us a search for a level five or higher monster so like galaxy soldier for example but like this galaxy soldier is not really doing anything for us because we have like this monster aboard so like i'm not really sure what the best way to play that hand out would be um i'm not i'm just not really sure it's kind of a really weird hand so let's go ahead and just shuffle up and play out another one uh, hopefully draw uh, one of the new monsters and actually really demonstrate how this deck works all right so now let's draw let's see what we get three four and hey um let's see so this one looks really interesting this one actually hold on a second hold on let me let me uh i th hold on let me think about this one. Let me think about this one for a second. I think this one's really good. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me... Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. Normal, normal summon, normal summon. Um, special. So normal, special. Because um, that's when it's normal or special, right? Let me get, a, get our cheat sheet here. Do, do, do. If you normal, special summon Cyber Dragon, its name's treated as Cyber Dragon. So we're good. Okay. So let's chain it. So let's uh, do... I guess... The, would that be a chain? I don't know. So <laughs> it'd be like normal summon and then like special summon. That's how it'd be. And then this will resolve and, and get you uh, your cyber repair plan. So um, that's looking not too shabby. Um, instant fusion. Where's our Panzer Dragon? Panzer Dragon... I guess we'll use, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what we want to do, because, yeah, yeah, so let's do that. So, Panzer Dragon, Cleefort Genius, because that's a machine, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a machine. Yeah, it's a machine. Cyber Dragon, duh. So, go into that. Um, machine Dupe. Into, do, do, do. All right, so, Machine Dupe. Genius, uh, Genius's effect. So let's get Galaxy Soldier. And then let's, ooh, this is interesting. So, uh, God, this sucks. Um, this is almost so good. It's almost so good. Um, or, or it's, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me do, either way, I want to do repair plants. Uh, here's why. Either way, I want a repair plant for that because, so from here, I either, oh, I know what I, I know how I want to end. I know how I want to end. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and 
Galaxy Soldier. Yeah, yeah, Galaxy Soldier. That guy. That'll give us a search for the last Cyber Dragon. Galaxy Soldier will give a, get us the other Galaxy Soldier. That's really good. Okay, so um, I don't know. What, what do we want to pitch off the, the Warrior, though? So, I mean, yeah, the, off the guitar. So activate, let's go guitar pitch, I guess this uh, soldier, or yeah, let's pitch soldier. I guess it really doesn't matter. Just pitch a card from our hand, go mics, and then yeah, let's see uh, let's see what we what we can do. I mean, we can use, we can use these two. Let's use those two go into like Seeger, I guess. Um, yeah, Seeger, then these two go into Nova, summon, Slap the infinity on top of that. Um, you go into something else over here. I guess we can go into. Um, um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, guess with the guitar up, the best thing would be to go into Durendal. Because if this is like a going first hand, I think that's how you would want to end. Yeah, I think that's how you would you would want to end right there. Is like you would want uh, the Durendal up to be able to pop the guitar, which is really good. And you got the infinity. So. I would say that wasn't too bad. I would say that that was a really good hand. Um, uh, let me know if I could have played that out like any sort of differently. Maybe I could have ended better or something like that. That was just like playing it out. But let's do another one here. Let's do another one. Um, that, uh, I don't know, man. I want to draw one. I want to. I want to draw a hand where it's like we get to use um, the new card with dry because I really feel like, and that's something that I've been seeing comments on. I feel like everyone's kind of on the same page. Like I think this card's supposed to be used for dry. But um, I also want to know, like I've been using it. Um, you know, I, I, I just used it, I mean, to, um, you know, make it into a link monster. I'm mean, using it for link material to go into uh, Cleefort Genius. So, I don't know. I don't know. So, let's go. Let's draw another hand. So, this is pretty interesting. Not as good as that last hand. What's really interesting is since you have, like, both of these uh, discard engines, it's like uh, you get to pick what you what you discard uh, this off of. You know what I mean? So, that's kind of cool. Guys, I may have been playing Cyber Dragons for a very, very long time now, but this is all new to me as well. This is all new to me. You know what I mean? It's not like Konami tips me off, like, really tips me off about this stuff, like, way ahead of time. I wish they did. That'd be great. But, no, they just they just don't. So, uh, this is a really kind of crappy hand. Um, this would be definitely a better going second hand. So, you know what? I keep talking about Cyber Dragons and going second. You can see what I mean? Like, let's just say our opponent did have a monster. Let's just put, um, I don't know, what's what's next to me? Here, here's a Yazi. So let's just say that's all, that's all our, our opponent has. They're never going to end like that, but let's just say that they do for, for this uh, for this video's sake, right? You, what you can do is go Foolish Burial to Core, um, Cyber Repair Plants, Repair Plants for Galaxy Soldier, and then you, uh, what you could do, since your opponent does uh, controls a monster and you do not, you can do this, um, banish a core for core which is really really good so you banish core for core um summon out the core um then what you'll do is you'll go into a uh, insta fusion it's really easy i mean you guys then you kind of do the moves uh, that you would do like cyber dragons are mainly a going second deck i've just been playing going first hand so this is all our opponent has right uh, we'll go into uh, i'm getting ahead of myself here <laughs> so go into panzer dragon then what you'll do is you'll activate the um galaxy soldier over here it doesn't really matter um th this guy will give you a search for um another cyber dragon the galaxy soldier for galaxy soldier um use these to go into genius and then um you know you just kind of do the moves from there and you can also use um your cyber repair plants to search for i mean literally anything you search for for uh, just you can uh, then it's just the same moves you go machine dupe summon you two cyber dragons to the zones and i mean it just goes on from there it's the same moves uh, cyber dragons guys just are a better going second deck than going first deck like they like to see that sixth card and usually when they go second and see that sixth card they they really do win especially drawing uh, just Kiru and stuff going into chimera tech it's really good drawing this thing is really good to extend your boards a lot um so i would say that the, so far so my initial thoughts about veer guys are that this card just it doesn't really singe your deck over the the edge there's no edge that this this card is sending your cyber dragon deck over right now it's it's really weird that's it's a really good card um i like the support i really like this card i like this card in the deck it's good support but it's not as good as it could be and that's just kind of the theme when it comes to a lot of legacy support i mean i know but with cyber dragons i was really hoping that it would be just a little more powerful you know especially with the set called cybernetic horizon gosh that's just so ominous and so big you know you would think you would think that they would give uh, give us some really busted cyber dragon support in it but i don't know man i i don't know what they're doing all i know is guys is that um the vibe i'm getting from from this deck right now as it is is that 
it's good and the support's good, but it's just doing the same things the Cyber Dragons already do, just maybe a little more consistent, and that's about it. That's that's pretty much what I'm getting out of this, is that the deck is, is doing the same things that it's always been doing and has been doing, um, but just a little better, and there's, there's there's no ceiling raise, there's no edge that this, this card is pushing the deck towards, nothing like that. I mean, and uh, Cybernetic Horizon, guys, this just goes to further prove my point, okay? Cybernetic Horizon needs both fusion support and rank 5 support for Cyber Dragons. It just does. It just does. Um, and the reason why is, is what I've been saying. Like, people want to play rank 5 Cyber Dragons like me. I keep wanting to push the envelope of what the deck can do. And, you know, I keep wanting to try to see what the deck can do and stuff. So I like rank 5 Cyber Dragons a little better. But most people, you know, and including myself, I mean, I like, I like fusion Cyber Dragons, guys. I love fusion Cyber Dragons. I just love Cyber Dragons. But most people just want fusion Cyber Dragons. They want to play that build, you know? So uh, that being said, um, Cybernetic Horizon needs to come out with both. It just needs to come out with both. Both fusion support and rank 5 support for Cyber Dragons so that it just makes everyone happy. And not only that, it's just so you can actually make a full, pure Cyber Dragon deck that, that we've always, that we've been waiting for and have it do everything that we actually want it to do and feel like it should do. I don't know how else to get through to Konami, guys. I just, I just don't. I don't know how to get through to them, but all I know is I do have to thank them for the support that we have been getting because it has been really good. It's been decent, I should say, at the very, very least. So I, I'm happy with it so far. Um, I, it just, it's just not as good as it could be, and that's really what it comes down to. It's just not as good as it could be. But um, with all that being said, though, guys, with all that being said, though, let's go ahead and get into the fan mail now. And this one is from Just Dual Tainer. Um, that's that's literally all it says. I can show this because this is my address. Um, this just says Dual Tainer. <laughs> <laughs> Duel with a smile. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what you have to say, Duel Tainer. What? Oh, so please sign. Absolutely. So please sign. What is? What is all this? What is all this? Is there? Is there a return envelope for for me to send the cards back in? Yeah, you did. You did send a return envelope. Okay. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Um. What? What is? Okay. So, hold on now. Hold on. So before I get get way too carried away here. <laughs> What is this? So, ladies and gentlemen, I am the entertainment duelist of the standard dimension. I have sent Yugi Nono this letter for him to bless my cards with his Yugi Jesus powers in order for me to perform at the highest peak of duel taining. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, so how was the intro? That was pretty good. Uh, anyways, he even wrote in green and red. That's so clever, dude. Anyways, after watching most of the Arc V, I have become interested in on ice pendulum decks and perform pal cards like in the anime. Yuya Sakaki uh, used in his duels to be honest um, if a uh, dual taining was a thing then I'll gladly join it on the fun um anyways that's kind of what Yugi tubing is in a weird way but anyways um any um I've sent you uh cards uh, I hope you can uh, sign uh, that would be amazing absolutely and, um as fun as it is to play uh power bond ancient gears I intend on working on my odd eyes deck and see how far I, I can go at my locals well good luck um from Alec what's that oh from Alec dude I know who you are oh my gosh you good luck um, I'm pretty sure you're the same guy I'm thinking of anyways. Alec Mendoza, right? Like, he, that's, that's you, right? Anyways, anyways, uh, it doesn't say it on the, you know, like, once it's, you threw me off with the with the envelope, okay? You threw me off with the letter itself, but I'm pretty sure that I know who you are. Anyways, <laughs> so, so please sign. Absolutely, dude. I will sign all these, dude. Thank you so, so much for sending. Thank you so much for writing. If you are indeed who I'm pretty sure you are, oh my gosh. Oh, well, well, what I was, before I got distracted just now, what I was going to say is, if you are who I think you are, then, then, uh, I, I wish you, uh, luck, like, seriously, and, and dueling and, 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 uh, everything, and, like, seriously, even if you weren't who I think you are, I would still tell you good luck with dueling and with odd eyes and all that stuff. Anyways, so, <laughs> odd eyes, pendulum dragon, so, uh, this Joker, oh my gosh, rest in peace, Joker, sorcerer, dude, this is so sick, so, so basically, like, you sent me your deck, just like, dude, oh my gosh. Uh, I will definitely, definitely sign assign all these and send them back your way, dude. Thank you so, so much for writing and, and everything. Thank you so much for writing again. If you, Once again, if you are who I think you are, thank you so much for writing again. And this one is from... It doesn't really say anywhere. <laughs> so um, I'm going to open this up and we'll see, we'll see what's in here. I have to kind of open it. There's an address on the other side of it or I would open it up that way. Uh, but uh, that is everything out of that. What is, what is, whoa, hold on. There's random, random currency in here. This isn't a euro. What is this? 
I don't know this currency. Uh, anyways, so, do you don't know what's up? Uh, my name is Nikolam, and I'm from Bulgaria. Hey, that's new. I've never, whoa, that's cool. Now I'm living in Switzerland. I really like your videos, and I and I will watch you even when I die. I don't know. I'm going to do how I'm going to going to do that, but I think about it. Um, I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh uh, for more than uh, four years, and uh, now I'm 14. Well, good. Uh, I, I really wish you luck uh, continuing playing and with your. Yu-Gi-Oh career and stuff. I really do. Um, my favorite deck is a uh, baby raccoons, dude. Uh, keep all the. I haven't seen that deck in a while. Uh, keep uh, keep all the uh, cards which I give you. And can you um, can you um, something say about? Can you say about my channel? I just started making videos. YGO Panda. So YGO Panda guys. YGO Panda. Check him out. He used to be this letter. YGO Panda. I give you a two. I give you two level. This the, uh, give you two Leva. Oh, so that's what he's talking about. Like the currency. Uh, this is our Vulgarian money. Uh, keep them, please. Um, well, thank you very much. This is really cool. I've actually, believe it or not, um, I have a couple of euros and stuff that I've never cashed just so I'd like have them that you guys have sent me like as like currency a small currency collection i know that's kind of weird but yeah i have like this little weird currency collection because there's literally no one around here that'll exchange euros for for dollars there's um there's supposedly pawn shops will do it but i haven't seen a pawn shop i haven't like, come across a pawn shop that will and there's uh, like i figured they would do it at the airport like tulsa international but they don't like i was like why wouldn't they exchange currency at an airport that's just the most logical place to and even my bank won't exchange currency but anyways yeah no, no one around here exchanges currency so i was just like well, I guess I'll collect currency. <laughs> so, dude, this is this. Is, uh, that, I guess I'm like I have Bulgarian currency now. Thank you so so much for this. This is so interesting. This is like it's always weird like seeing other people's currency and stuff. It's like it's like you know I, I don't know how uh, what an equivalent phrase in other languages would be, but in America, you know, and in the English language, we just compare it to monopoly money. <laughs> that's that's what we do. But um, that's because it's kind of bizarre because of everything else that's not your currency just seems like play money because you're not used to seeing it all the time. Uh, it's not that it's not real money. It's just that it seems like real money because you're not familiar with it. Anyways, <laughs> so we have this Duel Links thing, a play set of cyber. Dragon, dude! Mega Fleet, what? And Cy so another Cyber Dragon, so much Cyber Dragons, Curry Bandits, and Dark Magician. I don't, I don't know what to say. You just, you wrote me and you, and you sent me cards and money. I, I, I'm speechless. Thank you. I, 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 I thank you so much for writing. Um, if you ever want to write again and maybe include like. I don't know tracking or something so I can sign cards and send them back to you I will gladly do that I'm not sure how I could repay you but just uh, thank you so much for watching I guess I guess I could just keep making videos that's I guess <laughs> that's how I could repay you but I don't, I don't know man just thank you so so much for sending and, and just everything thank you so much mm. <laughs>